Hello, today we look at ILO method with stepped fixed cost. We have data for years 2001 down to 2006 with units and uh, cost as well. So for 2007, we have the units and they were required to actually project what the cost will be. Additional information in the question fixed cost increases by a thousand dollars once units exceed 150. That simply means that once unit has gone beyond 150, an extra cost of 1,000 becomes applicable. So our step, step one, we have to identify the lowest and the highest activity level. Lowest and highest activity level. So we have our highest and uh, the lowest activity level. Highest and lowest activity level. If I can move down just a bit here. All right. So the first is to identify for units, which happens to be our x variable. The highest out of this all is uh, 200, while the lowest is 110. There we go. The next step, step two, is to identify the corresponding the corresponding y, which happens to be cost in this instance. Cost the corresponding y. So what's the cost for 200 units? 12,323, and the associated cost right here is uh, 10,000. There we go. So step number three, ordinarily, is for us to look for our variable cost per unit by looking for the difference between these two. But here is where the change, the little change, actually comes in. Um, uh, we can do this using two <coughs> different approaches. Either we decide to exclude the step fixed cost entirely before we combine our solution, or we decide to actually include it. How do I mean? The highest activity level of 200 as the embedded cost, embedded extra fixed cost of 1,000, meaning this 12,000 has that extra 1,000 in it, while the lowest activity level, which is below the 150, has... Um, uh, does not contain that extra 1000 so I can if I decide to exclude exclude the stopped fixed cost then all I have seems to simply do is to take a deduct this extra 1000 away from this meaning that what I have actually made the two coordinates to be on the same basis both are now excluding the extra fixed cost of 1000 so i can go on to actually compute my differences differences in both to allow me compute my variable cost per unit that's my difference in unit then we have difference in cost as well difference in cost as well so step three now my variable cost per unit then becomes just simply this divided by this and that gives me 15.21 per unit then the next step ordinarily is for me that's step four now is to compute my fixed costs i can decide to use the i coordinate or i decide to use the low coordinate any one i use Will result into the same solution. So if I decide to use the i coordinate, that will be this minus my variable cost per unit by the number of units, which is the activity level this time around. We have 8,281. So I can do exactly the same thing also if I decide to use the low activity level, that will be 10,000 less my variable cost per unit multiplied by this. And there I have my 8,281 also. What about a case whereby I decided to actually include? We can also have a case of including the self fixed cost. So if I decide to actually include the fixed cost, I'm going to have something like this for my step one and the step two. Same thing. So we have um, my units. 
still be the same exactly like I have here. Yeah. I'll have my highest here yeah. and I'll have the lowest being 113 as well. Being 113. Um, uh, I'll have step two, my costs. My cost here yeah, will be exactly the same thing. I'll have the cost. I'll have um, uh, the cost from 200 happens to be 12,303 and the cost here happens to be 10,000 but this time around we want to try to actually what include the fixed cost now this time around we're trying to include by inclusion we simply means that simply means that we want both coordinates to have the element of the 1000 in it already this 200 is above 150 which already contains that extra 1000 so what we then do to this coordinate is by adding the extra 1000 to it to make it to be on the same basis just like the other one so the next thing for me to do is just look for the difference right here this less this that's 87 being the difference and this less this that's a uh, thousand so i go on to look for step i do my step three and the step four by looking for my variable cost per unit, my variable cost per unit right here that becomes this divided by this. I have still the same 15.21 just like I have right here. My fixed cost this time around will still be if I decide to use the i coordinates. So you have this minus the variable cost per unit multiplied by the number of units. We have 9,281.90. If I decide to use the low coordinate, we will have 11,000 less. The variable cost per unit multiplied by this. And we have exactly the same thing, 9,281. Now, why do I have 9,281 and I have 8,200? Remember, this is excludes the variable cost why this includes includes the stepped apologies stepped fixed cost i mean step fixed cost all right the main difference between the two is the fact that here we have decided to actually include the fixed cost so whatever fixed cost we will be getting here will include this extra 1000 but look at the difference between this fixed cost here and the fixed cost here is just the thousand meaning that what this 9281.62 includes that extra 1000 while this excludes it we don't necessarily have to do the two in the same in the examination or just stick to one then know the fixed cost you are arriving at. Are you arriving at the fixed cost that includes or the ones that excludes? So then my step number five, which is to put up my cost model. My cost model my cost model then becomes y equals to this time around I'm just gonna write my a because my a can change. And my B remains the same thing as 15.21 then multiplied by X. So if I am to compute for 2007, then what the expected cost would be if 160 units are, if 160 units were to be produced, then that becomes this. I ask myself the first question, will it be the fixed cost of 9,200 that is applicable or the one for 8,200 since 160 is above the limit of 150 then it is the i fixed cost that becomes applicable and that becomes 9,281.62 plus the variable cost of this then multiplied by the units and there we have uh, 11,714 being the cost associated cost if we are to produce 160 in 2007. Thank you very much. I hope this is very useful. Please like, turn on your notification to receive more of our, to receive notification for more of our videos. Thank you.